Well, welcome to The Running Dutchman. I'm John, and this video is about feet. Our feet are our foundation when we run. So to prevent injuries, we need strong feet and we need flexible feet. And in this video, we're gonna work on it. Okay, we're gonna do three series of three exercises and every series we do twice. After that, we do a not so nice stretch, but a very good stretch. We're gonna start with the first series. The first series, exercise number one. We're gonna lift up our big toe, place it down, and then lift up the little toes. In the beginning, you might have to roll a little bit on the side of your foot to be able to lift up your big toe. Roll on the inside of your foot to lift up your little toes. Sometimes you just want to press your big toe down and lift up the little ones, keep the little ones down and lift up the big toe. It's something you have to get used to. Good place to practice underneath the shower. Second exercise of this series, toe taps. So we stay on the heels, but we're just tapping our toes on the floor. These two exercises we do 40 times. Last one, we're gonna lift our toes, try to spread them, and we place them down. Okay, let's directly start with this series. Weight in your foot, lift up the big toe, place it down, lift up the small toe, place it down. Big toe, three, small toes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, toe taps. Stay on the heel. Try to lift just the front of the foot. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If you feel it in your calves, perfect. Okay, we're gonna raise the toes, spread them, put them down again. So, feet are on the floor, raise your toes, try to spread them, place them down. There we go, that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. We'll go back to raising the big toe and raising the little toe, so that's two. Big toe, three, little toes, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Back to the toe taps, feet together, and just tapping the feet. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. 
perfect. Go on, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Well done. Okay, last exercise from this series were the toe raises and the spreading. So lift up the toe, spread, and place them down. We go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Well done. Gonna start second series. Second series, feet are grounded down, and we try to kind of like pull them apart, but we have them on the mat, they're grounded in the mat. So it's kind of like just the movement, feet apart away from each other. Is exercise number one. Exercise number two is calf raises. So we just raised the toes. Now we're gonna actually come on the toes and we try to raise our calves as high as possible. Exercise number three, other way around. Feet are on the mat again and we try to push them together. So again, grounded, press them together using the muscles. So those three exercises, we all do them 20 times. Let's start with feet apart. Feet on the floor, press them down, move them away from each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect, that's it. We're gonna go to the calf raises where we come on the ball of our feet, maybe even all the way on your toes, and down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Gonna do it the other way around. So feet are on the floor, and this time we try to press them together. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, shake out for a minute. Another minute, just shake out for a moment. And we're gonna start all over again. So, feet are on the floor, trying to get them apart. Ground them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Shake out, and we're gonna move on with the calf raises. So we're on our feet, come on the ball of the feet, maybe even on the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Shake out for a moment. 
And then we're going to go to the last one of this series, which was the feet together. Ground them on your mat, press them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Perfect. Shake out again. Okay, series number three. Most difficult one? Challenging one. Okay. Starts again easy. Just like we did, we're going to raise our toes, but now when we place them down, we're kind of like crunching our toes. Very easy, very gentle. One movement, raising, crunching. Second one, for me, the hardest. You're going to bring the weight on your right leg. Left knee comes up, see which arm you want to have, but the idea is that the left knee goes back, arm comes forward, and we bring it up. So it's a balancing exercise. It's kind of like a slow motion run. We do it 20 times with the right foot on the floor, 20 times with the left foot on the floor. It can be opposite arm, opposite leg. It can be the same arm, the same leg. See what works for you, what makes you keep your balance the best. Last time, Looks like calf raises, but we just want to raise the arch of our foot. So we're going to bring the weight in our toe, and we're kind of like pressing our feet together, pushing in our toe, and we're just lifting up the arch of the foot. Heel comes slightly, slightly off the floor. You shouldn't feel it in your calf muscle. If you feel it in your calf muscle, you're raising really your leg. You try to get it from the arch of your feet. Okay, shake out. We're gonna start first exercise. Feet on the floor, raise your toes, place them light, lightly crunch them. One, two, raise, crunch. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and that's twenty. Okay, we we'll go to the most challenging exercise. Let's start with the right foot of the floor. Left knee comes up, slow motion running. Left leg goes backwards, arm comes forwards, knee comes up again. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, shake out. If you fall out of it, just come back into it. Gonna do the left foot. Bigger chance, I will fall out of it. This is the ankle that's least strong. Right knee comes up. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 
and 20. Okay, shake out for a moment. I'm gonna go and raise the arches. So toes are in the mud, pressing into the big toe, just trying to lift the heel a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Shake out. Start with exercise number one, raising and crunching of the toes. There we go, lifting the toes up. One, place them down, crunch them lightly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Shake out, and we're gonna go to the balance exercises. Let's again start on the right foot. Left knee comes up. There we go, leg backwards, arm forwards. One, two. If it's hard, find the point. Three, on the floor in front of you. Four, to focus your eyes on. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Shake out for a moment. And we'll go to the left foot. Left foot is grounded. Right knee is coming up. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and 20, shake out. Okay, last exercise of this series, raising of the arches. So feet are on the floor again, pressing the big toe down, pressing in the ball of the feet, just lifting the arch a little bit. One, two, three, four. Remember, you shouldn't, five. Feel this in your calf, says, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, shake out again. Last exercise. We're gonna come and sit down on our knees, but we're gonna place our toes on the mat and we're gonna try to curl under our toes. There's a pose from yoga it's called pins and needles. If you sit like this, you're gonna probably feel why it's called pins and needles. So you really wanna have your toes as much as you can being curled under. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. Let's count to 20. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay, hands to the floor. Just tap your feet for a moment on the floor. Get the tension out. And that's it. Little series of exercises you can do every day or at least every other day. Doesn't take a lot of time, but it will you give you strong feet. Strong feet are very helpful um, to run, but also if you're a yogi to do yoga. Good luck and keep on running. <laughs>